So foundations of thinking. Corfu first group team annex yeah. July 14, 1975. We will start a, with a number of assumptions. Every time we work with laying a foundation, we start with a base of assumptions. We never start with concrete realities. We assume that in front of the phenomena that is presented to a consciousness, the consciousness work structuring. In other words, that consciousness is not confined to only consider stimuli. No, it also reacts, compares stimuli with other stimuli, and makes operations that objects do not. When I relate to these tape recorders to each other and say, here there are 10 recorders or whatever, and here is five caps and 10 packs of cigarettes, this operation that I relate these objects that are unique to the same level, the other objects that are specific to another level with another and so on, these operations do not make objects, do not make the recorders. These objects are not related among themselves unless they can be connected to a power line that fits them. These packs of cigarettes are also not interrelated. This operating system, this way of structuring, I can do it thanks to certain opera operation of my consciousness and obviously are not the objects doing it. Well, that's the very beginning mm -hmm. of the talk that is dense in the mm -hmm. sense that he throws right away the, the subject mm -hmm. of that the consciousness structure. Mm -hmm. Everything, all, everything that is thrown at it. it, it I mean, this is an older analogy mm -hmm. um, but in for a more contemporary analogy we could think of smart objects that do interconnect and relate themselves mm -hmm. you know that we use in computing for right. example right. net wireless networks can see each other and interconnect right and so you see society advancing more towards the model of consciousness in a way true because we begin to understand the phenomena in front of us and mm -hmm. relate and interconnect things right. together. But the objects themselves, I think he's saying in this section, do not. No, they don't. It's not built into the object. No. It's built into the consciousness. Yeah. Now we're trying to build in into the, the objects some sort of intelligence. We are, yes. Yeah. <laughs> right. And it's the, it's the gateway to artificial intelligence. Yeah, it's it kind is. of interesting. It is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it is very true. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. I, I mean, uh, <laughs> and it makes you wonder what we're going to get because in reality you have the feeling that the consciousness is not well understood at all. Right, it isn't. Uh, in society. No, it is not, right. Uh, how it works. Right. And, but they're already trying to build recreations of it. So. Intelligence into yeah. objects and they don't even know. Understand, understand it. How so really what the hell might happen? happen? Well, bro, <laughs> you know, my guess is going to be in the beginning a very linear <laughs> type of thing. You know, it will be stimulus response, stimulus response, stimulus response, codified at a incredible pace of yes. it, you know and then the, and that's probably how it's going to work for a while mm -hmm. and then later on it's going to reach a limit like it, it is with with absolutely everything and then we'll have to see what happened <laughs> anyway i so con should i continue a yes, little bit please. because it's yeah. the same subject you know no, no, it's it's, a, it's this operating system this way of structuring i can do it thanks to certain operations of my consciousness and obviously are not the objects doing it. Do you see the difference, right? So we say that in front of the phenomena, the consciousness structure and the phenomena, even when the objects are separated from each other, are structured anyway because of the operations of the consciousness. No matter what they are structured, regardless if you have of them a full understanding or not. And I mm -hmm. found that interesting to yes. me. You know? So because, it doesn't um, need, the consciousness doesn't need to fully understand to something. Fully understand. It will right. structure it <clears> anyway. <throat> way. But then that's a little bit risky too, because then you're at risk of structuring something in not the way it actually is in itself. 
Apparently. You know, you can structure it in a wrong way. Sure you can. Uh, you, I, I am positive that we have done those errors. Yeah, and you start <laughs> piling on all kinds of right. things that the object doesn't really have. It's very possible. Maybe he's going to talk about that as Let's we see. go forward. Mm -hmm. And so we okay. So we say that in front of the phenomena of consciousness structure, etc., etc., if you have on them full understanding or not, there is no object to appear in the field of the consciousness that is not structured by it. So that in front of all the phenomena, the consciousness will structure. The structuring of thinking shows the concomitance between the phenomena and the consciousness. That is to say that perceptual data is structured, we produce variations in the structuring of the consciousness, and if the perceptual data get too far away from the structuring, that is what you were saying, that is taking place, they, then a new structuring is needed. Mm -hmm. yeah. The action that may have the consciousness upon the objects thanks to the body, for example, with the behavior, the action of the consciousness in the world also changes the positions of the objects. Mm -hmm. You want to repeat that one? Yes. <coughs> the entire paragraph or the, the last? Well, I, I'd like to go over the entire paragraph. The entire paragraph. Because this okay. is, a, yeah, it's, it is it's a little bit complex. The, structure, the structuring of thinking shows the concomitance between the phenomena and the consciousness. Mm -hmm. yeah? That is to say that perceptual data is structured. And then we produce variations in the structuring of the consciousness. And if the perceptual data get too far away from the structuring that, that is, is taking, taking place, place, then a new structuring is needed. Yes. Yeah, so, for example, um, well, I I look at something that's far away, and and uh, it looks to me like a person, mm -hmm. but in reality, it is a. Lamp post, a lamppost or, or an object blowing in the Could wind be. right as I get closer to it yep so you is a very dynamic uh, structuring of yeah the object. so I go changing mm -hmm. based on my position in front of it I think that's what it they're seems, saying yeah you know, I agree it's yeah pretty much uh, if I'm further away or closer to it or right. it moves or is moved or I move. Yeah, because it says the action that may have the consciousness upon the object thanks to the body, for example, with the behavior or the action of the consciousness in the world also changes the positions of the objects. Uh, that part is not that clear. Yeah. But let's keep reading because this is the entire thing. Yeah, is like yeah, this. yeah. So this relationship between consciousness and the phenomena we call st structuring relationship. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And that is an interesting thing. That's that's it. This is the one that caught my attention because he mentions that on where we are, he mentions that structuring relationship in several other talks. The capacity to increase the way that we make these relationships that are already in a structure. I don't know, that's how I got into the material. The phenomena in terms of experience, not in terms of phenomena. I'm going to read the whole thing again. So this relationship between consciousness and the phenomena we call structuring relationship. The phenomena in terms of experience, not in terms of phenomena, the lighter, not, uh, not as lighter, yeah, he was mm -hmm. obviously with a lighter in his hand, but, but as it is for me an experience, in that I perceive, in that I represent, as long as it is the subject of my conscious, conscience and not only an object in the world, it is framed by the interest of the consciousness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of <laughs> words. I mean, I think he's making the, a case here that the consciousness is not kind of passive. Yeah, I agree. But it's active, it's involved, right. it's directed. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, you, oh, there's almost, yeah. The, it's because he says the phenomena, the lighter, not as a lighter, but as it is for me an experience. So yeah. this is the object, the consciousness structure, the object. Yeah. But you see, the, then for me, is going to be different, or for me, is going to be important. Yeah? 
as long as she says in that I perceive in that I represent as long as it is the subject of my consciousness and not only an object in the world because if this this can be sitting there as an object for million years and then oh, suddenly, yeah. suddenly comes a consciousness and I say oh, but gets interested in it. oh I like this I mean I, I structure this object uh -huh. but the object was there sitting forever and now it has a, a meaning for the consciousness because the consciousness was able to structure it. That's what I get, yeah. Because it became in how he said in the field of the consciousness. This okay. object suddenly appears in the field of the consciousness. Interest of the consciousness. It's framed by the interest of the consciousness in the object. That may yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. It is an object of which I have an experience. I experience this object and it, it appears as such and is structured in a way or another according to the interest exposed by the consciousness. Mm -hmm. The objects themselves do not have an interest. That's a feature of the consciousness. But for me, it is much more interesting this recorder than this lighter, especially now that it has little gas. <laughs> running out of gas. To me it is much more interesting this recorder. So I see the recorder, the lighter here and at the expense of being repetitive this object is much more interesting to me and so this phenomena is framed so I frame in a characteristic frame it in a characteristic way. I fix it according to my own interest. Mm -hmm. So far good, yeah. Ah, well, but it could said, of course, that the opposite, that the strong interest I have in the recorded over the lighter, that interest is not explained because of the consciousness that creates it, but the interest is framed by the phenomena. In other words, I'm interested in the recorder and not the lighter because the recorder has characteristics in terms of object that I, that can meet a lot of needs that make it more interest than the lighter, which is true and also valid. That's so really now it's going the other way around. Right. Where you reverse the, it. Ooh, uh, this is made out of gold or whatever. You yeah. Know. Then suddenly so the, the pro object properties has a, of the object attract your right. interest. This is a watch you can talk to and you check the internet on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> now you have some interest. <laughs> the object itself. Now all the objects created have that that thing in themselves, you know? Sure. Yeah. They're not only objects. This is the um, golem in the, um, you know, the mo Hobbit movie. Oh. Golem. The ring. The Lord rings. of the Rings. Right, right. The right, ring right. is the a ring. very powerful object. Powerful it object. has properties. It has properties right. Right. and as well as you, you sure. noticing it as a ring, it almost like notices you in right. a way. <laughs> it, it, it's the same. It was the same thing of the operative too. Remember that the objects could have a lot of charge in themselves. Like um, a crown is no longer an object yes. because it sits on the head of the king, so it has yes. properties, you know. So well, anyway, we can go on with that. Huh? So he's saying monistic antagonistic dialectical expl explanation are not enough where from a pers perspective of subjectivism it says that is the consciousness that shapes the world and idealism works primarily with those parameters mm -hmm. um, not a good philosopher so <laughs> but I know that is one of the tenets of philosophical things so I don't know how it fits in within all of this, but he's saying that. So we read it again.